Across Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, this is the week's Adventist News in Focus. Hello, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sibel Kute. Church leaders from around the world were among those making official statements of sympathy after last week's devastating terrorist attacks in Paris and Beirut. In the days after the attacks, security was still tight. A Seventh-day Adventist congregation in Paris was among the church groups that kept their church buildings closed last Saturday. The Church of England released a series of prayers for peace and expressed solidarity with the people of France. In Sydney, Australia, a Sunday prayer service was held to mourn the tragedies in Paris and Beirut and to seek comfort in God and one another. Church leaders, together representing more than two billion Christians around the world, have met in Albania to look for ways to work together on the growing problem of Christian persecution. Those present included the World Council of Churches, the World Evangelical Alliance, the Pentecostal World Fellowship and Vatican representatives, as well as Orthodox leaders, Quakers and Seventh-day Adventists. It's believed to be the first time every stream of Christianity has been represented at a meeting focused on persecution. Speakers urged for prayer for the persecuted, as well as practical efforts to work with governments and other religious communities to reduce tension and injustice. A coalition of aid organizations is warning that if the federal government continues with its planned cuts, Australia will soon be giving its lowest level of foreign aid in its history. The Dear Prime Minister campaign asks Malcolm Turnbull, as well as local MPs, to invest in the developing countries around Australia so that the region can experience prosperity, stability and freedom from extreme poverty. Countries that are our neighbours, that are successful, that are thriving, where people are doing well, are good neighbours. They grow our own economy, they help uh, minimise risks um, of, of disease, of disaster, uh, of extremist thinking. Uh, and so those, those are important contributions the Australian Aid Program makes to Australia as well as to our neighbours. The campaign includes a tongue-in-cheek video of the announcement campaigners wish Mr Turnbull would make. The Australia of the future has to be a nation that is investing more into Asia and around the world. Uh, what is the policy decision today? It is to restore the Australian aid budget. Of course, of course. Despite expressions of concern from family organisations, Australian free-to-air television will no longer show only G-rated programming in children's viewing times. Instead, the new commercial TV code of practice will allow PG content as well. From the 1st of December, programs and ads in traditional children's viewing times may include references to drug use, nudity and mild supernatural or horror themes. 6 to 8 a.m. in the morning, 8.30 a.m., 4 to 7 p.m. They're prime times for kids. Mum and Dad are busy getting breakfast ready, getting dinner ready, washing the kids, getting them for school. And I think parents need to be able to sit down and say, well, we'll be able to do those activities and say, the kids are safe at this time watching TV, rather than that extra fear and anxiety of worrying about what they're watching. There's more news in this week's full half-hour Record in Focus program, as well as these special features. Same-sex marriage and free speech, politics in focus. If our side of the debate, those of us who believe in marriage between a man and a woman and the benefits of a man and a woman to the life of a child, particularly the natural parents, if we can't say these things in public, then this will uh, tarnish the whole marriage debate and particularly the plebiscite that Malcolm Turnbull has promised to hold. Sue Rad gives some handy hints on eating healthier. So really, when it comes to health and well-being, we should design the environment. Well, so what, we what do you mean by that? Design your, your kitchen, your, your car, your glove box, your handbag. Mm -hmm. What's there will determine what you eat and how much you eat. And Kent Kingston chats with author Amanda Buse about her new book, Summer Fades. I've never actually suffered from any eating disorder myself, so I had to do a lot of research to find mm, out yeah. um, how and why it works the way that it does. But even no one is really going to understand what it's like to be inside a person with an eating disorder mm. um, unless they've actually experienced it. Mm -hmm. So I did the best that I could, and mm. I hope I've done it well enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
You can watch Record in Focus every week on Hope Channel, Foxtel's Australian Christian Channel and Digital 44 in Adelaide. But if you'd rather watch the program on your own schedule, this week's episode, as well as hundreds of those before it, are available to view on demand at our website record.net.au. Well, that's all from me for now. Have a great Sabbath and a blessed week.